it's time to repenter this Ed Games device. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Awesome to have you here. So we're going to do a little bit of a teardown video with this one. Uh, it stopped working when making the review. The speaker is dead. System itself is still working, by the way. But I just want to do a little bit of a teardown. I was very curious what's inside this little machine. I've noticed there are four screws. I'm guessing we we'll need to unscrew these. And it's going to pop up or pop open. So, all right, I have removed the cap and this is what we're going to get. It's not much. It's just basic and main board. Let's see if we can find some information on it. And uh, what are we going to get? All right, but as you, uh, as you can see here on, I hope you can see it on the camera. The production date is 2008 on this thing. <laughs> this thing is more than 10 years old. Wow. I know it was old, but I'm never that old. I'm guessing this is one of the first generation of Ed game systems. I'm guessing that is. So here at the left side we're finding this blob. Uh, I think it contains some games or information, biases, something. And here at the right side, again, a blob. Again, it's the black blob. With this chip that is soldered on it on the main board. But oh my god, look at how, how horrible. The soldering quality is pretty damn poor if you ask me. Right, now I'm going to remove the main board itself. And let's see if we can check what's going on with the speaker itself. All right, those screws were not very tightened up. Right, let's see if we can move that easily. Of course, it never goes right the first time. At the moment, this thing is broken, as you can see. Why can I get it out of here? Put the screw driver on it. Yes. All right. All right. All right. I will try to remove it gently because I want to reuse it again. Come on. Ah, I need to lift the upper casing that was holding it in place. Everything's falling apart. What's with the speaker on? Well, this cheap rubbery thing, so that's pretty damn cheap. Look at this screen here. Uh, let's see if there's something. Here's the speaker itself. You can see it on my camera, but let's do a little close up view of this one. So, coming back to this company that is written on Digital Media Cartridge Limited. I googled it a little bit and the only thing I can find out, this is the company that made all of the Ed Game products. Um, it was in 2008, maybe there are, or maybe there was the first name or rebranded. If you have more information, you can always leave it in the comments. But what I understand, this is the company who just released these Ed Game products and made also the plug and play and all the other versions out there that you can find from back at the day. So there were a couple things that I really wanted to check out. First of all, we have the start button. That was not working. As you can see, I just pressing it, it's clicking, but it doesn't do anything. I was hoping there wasn't a different button, on, but the button itself is just broken. So there's a little bit of a bummer and the speaker is not doing anything. So I've checked, I was hoping there was more, more like a wiring problem, um, but I checked it out, but there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I can try to resolder it, but I think it will not help at all. I think the speaker itself is just broken. Within making the video, I need to tap it a couple of times for getting to yeah, to get some sound. But this is what we're going to get. So I just make this teardown video for you, make it together, uh, because some of you really like it, just to have a little peek inside this portable system and other system, uh, other products. So I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and if you're into gaming, check out the gaming channel. And see you next time. Bye-bye.